Hi, my name is Jessie, and today I went to see the Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. This is going to be my review. I didn't like it very much. I felt that there was no continuity in it. Like, they just slapped all the shots together. And they did different things, like sometimes they would put words in other people's mouth, like when they were doing the Unbreakable Vow, it was Bellatrix who said all that, but in the book it was Malfoy's mother. And I felt totally ripped off by Harry and Ginny's kiss, because it was supposed to not happen in the Room of Requirements, which she never went to with him anyways. It was supposed to happen in the common room with everybody around and him getting Ron's approval. The only way you even know he got Ron's approval was there was a slight mention of it at the end of the movie when Hermione said, well, Ron approves of you. And although I understand why the director chose to leave out the final battle because the they were going to have a similar one in the next movie. I feel that there could have been a little bit more fighting instead of just them walking out the front door. You could see students and teachers just standing there, just like letting them walk out the front door, which I thought was really stupid. And then I like the fact that Hagrid's hut went on fire, but then they cut out that whole scene with him trying to save the dog, or him even outside of his house for that matter. Not to mention Aragog's death. You know, it's just barely in there. It's never really explained why Aragog even died. One second it was one scene, and the next second you've got a dead spider. And it wasn't even in Hagrid's yard. It was somewhere on the school property, but not Hagrid's yard. And one of the worst things I thought was with Dumbledore's death, although they did do it pretty well, I felt that it could have been done better because in the book they he petrifies Harry and Harry has to stand there under the invisibility cloak and watch this whether he wants to or not because obviously being petrified he can't go anywhere and that only comes undone once Dumbledore dies but in the book he's just forced to stand underneath the tower, which is really weird because, like, how on earth are you actually supposed to stand underneath a tower? I don't know. And, um, just watch. And then I don't know what was up with Snape going, Shh. like, he was trying to tell Harry to be quiet. I mean, I guess since I know Snape's actually on Dumbledore's side, I guess he was just trying to do more, like what Dumbledore said, go down there and don't do anything no matter what happens but that was I just felt completely unnecessary and the burrow catching on fire I felt was completely pointless to the movie especially since it wasn't in the book I feel they just put it in to have more action in the movie since there wasn't much action at all it was more a humor movie um, there were so many things wrong with that one, but as people have pointed out that I've read, Bill and Fleur's wedding is supposed to be in the next book at the Burroughs, which is now burnt down. And it does suck that they had no storyline for Bill and Fleur whatsoever. I mean, because in the book, of course, you know, Bill gets attacked by the werewolf and has werewolf tendencies, but he's not even mentioned in this book. And then there's the whole thing with the egg and Ali, like all the danger in the world, and then these three youngsters were just allowed to wander around without parents, like pathetic. And the whole thing with them following Draco completely differed from the book. Once again, there was no Dobby, which sucked, or Creature, not 
that I care since Preacher is kind of annoying. No mention of him getting Sirius's house. Very little of Voldemort's past is shown. Not his fascination with all things Hogwarts, which is how they figure out what some of the Horcruxes are. Very little explanation about the ring that Dumbledore did destroy. And I was really, really upset that they left out Dumbledore's whole funeral. I don't know what was the point of ending, changing that ending, because that was a perfectly good ending, even if they just shortened the funeral and made it not quite as long. Instead of doing that scene in the astronomy tower, they could have taken that extra five minutes and done the scene for the funeral instead which would have made a lot more sense to me.